Ever wondered how tall you are or the width of that favorite book? Suddenly, everyday objects like your Legos or your Nintendo Switch take on a new mystery when you start to think about their dimensions. The world is full of different sizes and shapes. Isn't it fascinating? We hardly give it a second thought, but now we're going to dive deep into this intriguing world of measurements. Remember the thrill when you first learned that you grew a few inches? The fact that everything around us has a defined length, width, and height is an incredibly powerful one. You can quantify almost everything in this world using these simple units, and it opens up a whole new perspective on the world. The height of your favorite basketball player, the size of your smartphone screen, the depth of, and so much more. What about the height of that teddy bear sitting on your shelf? It holds a special place in your room, and now we're going to find out how tall it is. A ruler is all you need, and the process of measuring it becomes an exciting task. You see, measurements aren't just about numbers. They're about understanding the world around us in a tangible way. They form the basis of scientific exploration, of architectural marvels, of culinary precision, and numerous other fields. Today we're going to delve into this captivating world of measurements. We're going to measure objects to the nearest half inch, giving us an exact knowledge of our surroundings. Imagine knowing exactly how tall your potted plant is, or the exact width of your study table. It's not just about acquiring knowledge, it's about the joy of discovery. From the tiniest ant to the tallest skyscraper, everything holds a measurement mystery waiting to be unraveled. So are you ready to become an amateur Einstein? As we embark on this journey, remember, it's not a race. There's no rush. It's all about observing, learning, and having fun. So grab a ruler and don't worry if you don't hit the mark initially. So sit back, relax, and open your mind to this captivating world. It's time to measure, learn, and explore. So grab a ruler and let's explore this fun adventure together. First, we need to understand what an inch is. Before we get right into it, let's step back and consider what measurement actually is. Measurement is a way to describe objects and or concepts using numbers. It's a language that crosses borders, allowing us to communicate concepts of size and volume with ease and accuracy. And within this language, inches are a key part of the vocabulary. Now take a moment and visualize a ruler. It's a common tool we've all used, a staple of any school pencil case or home toolkit. When you look closely at the ruler, you'll see longer lines, each with a number next to it. The markings etched across its length may seem random at first glance, but you need to know that the distance from one number to the other represents one inch. Each marking, each line, each gap is a very important part of measuring with accuracy. In the United States, we focus on measuring length in the unit of inches using customary units. Most of the rest of the world measures length in centimeters using the metric system. However, the inch isn't the end of the story. Intersecting these inches are smaller lines, seemingly insignificant, but crucial in their own right. They break the inch into manageable, understandable fractions. Life isn't always measured in whole numbers. Fractions make our measurements more precise. Now, amidst these fractions, there is one that stands out. It's a line, not as long as the inch mark, but longer than the rest. It's the line that is halfway between the two longer lines on the inch ruler, carving it into two equal parts. This line is more than just a mark on a ruler. This line, my friends, is the half inch. Now let's gauge something. How about that pencil perchance sitting right next to you? Yes, the one you perhaps use to doodle your thoughts or maybe to spin absentmindedly while listening to your teacher. A simple, unassuming pencil. There's more to it than we usually acknowledge. So let's use this tool as our starting point. Find the end of the pencil at the zero mark on your ruler. Let your eyes trace the line from the zero mark along the length of the pencil. Look very closely. Here is your zero mark. Here is your one half inch mark. Here is your one inch mark. Here is your one and a half inch mark. Here is your two inch mark. Here is your two and a half inch mark. Here is your three inch mark. Here is your three and a half inch mark. And if you are getting the pattern, you should be able to identify the next mark. What is this mark? Say it again. That's right, friends. It's the four and a half inch mark. You got it. Yay for you. Notice if the length of the pencil ends halfway between two elongated lines. 
If it does, you've got a half inch extra. A half inch of added graphite for doodling, writing, or perhaps simply spinning between your fingers. Try measuring this pencil. Be sure to line up the very end of the pencil right next to the zero mark on the ruler like this. Let your eyes slowly trace the length of the pencil all the way to the tip. The tip of the pencil lines up on the five and a half inch mark. So this pencil is five and a half inches long. Excellent job, let's try another pencil. Repeat the same steps of lining up the pencil on the zero mark of the ruler. Follow the length of the pencil all the way to the tip. Notice how this pencil ends between the six and a half inch mark and the seven inch mark. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You now have to determine if the length of the pencil is closer to six and a half inches or seven inches. Yes, I agree. It's closer to the seven inch mark. So when asked to measure to the nearest half inch, we would consider this pencil to be seven inches long. Let's not end our journey of exploration here. What about your favorite book? Can you guess how many inches of wisdom and adventure it holds between its covers? Let's try to measure the length of this book. The same measuring rules apply. Find the zero mark on your inch ruler. Line up the edge of the book next to the zero mark on the ruler. Follow the length of the book. Where does it end? Looks like it is between the five and a half inches and six inches. So, is it closer to five and a half inches or six inches? Looks like five and a half inches. So when asked to measure to the nearest half inch, we would consider this book to be five and a half inches long. Treasure this skill of measurement, my friend. Always remember, the stretched lines on the ruler symbolize inches, and the line nestled in the middle of two inch lines to our half inch. This is not just about numbers, but about the wonderful world hidden within the mundane, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. So I invite you, embark on this journey, armed with your ruler and your curiosity. Explore the world of objects around you in a new light. Measure, observe, and interpret. Enjoy your measuring adventure. In our journey today, we've learned that measurement is a fun way to understand the size of the objects around us. We've learned that measuring becomes an engaging, educative activity. We've all got a tool in our hands that acts as a key to unfolding the mysteries of sizes. Recall that the long lines on the ruler represent inches, those standard units of measurement that define the physical world around us. The lines are not just drawn randomly, they follow a pattern, a sequence. And the line right in the middle of two long inch lines that's our half inch, a smaller unit, which allows for even more precision in our measurement. Use this knowledge to measure your world and you'll see it's a lot more fun than you think. With every measurement you make, you'll find that there's a story to be told, a new perspective to be gained. Keep exploring, keep measuring, and you'll find the world around you is full of surprises. So keep your rulers close, adventurers. They're your key to unlocking a world of discovery. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this content helpful. There are so many videos to explore below. Happy measuring adventurers. I'll see you in the next video.